not the distractions. How to best know them, how to recognize them, and how to stop them. Knowing the distractions is by you going through your day. I don't like schedules before the day starts. I really don't like it. I prefer just the list of stuff that I have to do. And then I just cross off as I go. But it's usually when I get up in the morning. That's why I can do I'll do it for the whole week. This is why the schedule on Snapchat is there for the whole week. And then throughout the week, I just look to see which ones I would like to do. And then I just do them. This is why I upload them a week prior. Because I really don't like schedules. Days to me should be up to the heart. I don't like repetitiveness. That's the thing also. But distractions. Okay. So a lot of people say that they work best with music. Only one way to put that to the test. Have a list of something that you have to do. And do it as you would normally go about your day. You know. Music in your head. Smoking if you smoke, you know, throughout the day. Drinking if that's your poison. Or just, you know, stopping and having a chat with a friend. You know. Or stopping and having a chat with multiple friends. Let's put that to the test. How would you, you would usually go about it? And then see what you actually did and what you have left to do for tomorrow. Very, very important. Now, here's how you're going to recognize the distractions. Go to the library for two hours. Have that list. Do not listen to music under any circumstances. And just go through the list. For only two hours. And see how much you have left for tomorrow. It's so simple that you tend not to do it. But think about all the stuff that you actually said, yes, I'll do them tomorrow and said I didn't have the time to do this today. So now I invite you to actually go back and see what you did have the time for and what did happen that made you not be able to actually do this. What you had on your list for today. Very, very, very important. Because nine times out of ten, we're all rushing to go somewhere. Why are you rushing? What prevented you from not being on time? Why are you rushing? Because some stuff in life are constant. You know what are constant? Time you have to go pick up kids from school. Time you have to be at work. Those are constant. Time you have to... I'd say time you have to get to the store. Get to the store, to the supermarket. And realize often what exactly you have to leave for the next day or for, you know, for the next week. What is left behind? Because usually you don't start realizing the important stuff are left behind until you actually make the list and you're like, oh my God, you're Whole weeks gone by and you didn't do nothing that mattered. But you did everything else on someone else's schedule. Think about that. A lot of people, a lot of people, they have little time to spend with their kids. That is if they have any time at all. And what I mean by time, you screaming at your kid or you just getting them ready for school is not time spent with your child. But sitting down and having a discussion about what book they read today. What did they learn? What are they going through? 
this is why a lot of times some people they don't know what's going on in their children's lives because they think that okay i saw him this morning before he went to school he is grown he's okay okay and then he comes out from school i was at work i mean hey bills have to be paid but that child what is going on in that child's life that you don't know about and if you had to spend time with that child when they are younger what makes you think that them being out in the world Receiving an education from the world What makes you think that they're actually learning stuff that are actually important? Because little guys little boys they become men and little girls they become women Sometimes a young girl doesn't know what to do. It's not her that's at blame. I know you're saying that bills have to pay And I get that But I'll tell you that Take 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, just to find out what's going on in that kid's life. Do you even know who their friends are? What kind of habit you don't want them to fall prey to? And how do you prepare them for that? Those are all stuff that goes into building a home. So starting from today, how will you recognize the distractions? What are you spending your time with? Okay? And think about what's important. Don't forget the list. Have a list of stuff that you have to do and see what is left for you to do the next day. Compared to you literally eliminating distractions, you reserve two hours to get this done. No music, no phone calling, no you on Instagram, no you going in and having a a gossip party about what happened at the party the other day about what she did no let's focus on here let's focus on what's important your home your livelihood or what is it supposed to be what is your home to be what is your livelihood to be think about what's important and recognizing the distractions are a big part of it Trust me, I should know. Personal experiences? Actually, no, I don't know because I don't want my mother to actually see that she will actually cut me. But the thing is, the good news is, I did stop on my own. And it wasn't until I saw what was happening on the larger scale with the list. When I started realizing my weeks were just going by, going by, going by. And it was, I was just barely doing stuff. But what didn't matter, I was totally constant on it. And it's because I was on somebody else's schedule. Think about what you want to achieve. Because this is where you're going to find time to actually do what you need to achieve. Because you're going to need time to find it. And trust and believe we all have the time. We just don't realize that we do.